Hey guys, this is Steven from TechSteveHD.com. I recently received a request to make a video on how to clone hard drives. Now, the reason you would do that is, for example, most hard drives are spinning hard drives like this one that comes in a laptop or a full-size hard drive that comes in a desktop. Now, spinning hard drives are really good. The only problem is that they have moving parts, so it slows down the performance. So most people want to move over to what they call SSD, which is a solid state drive. It doesn't have moving parts, so it's kind of like RAM. So it's going to move really fast and really show you a difference in performance. So sit back and relax, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get started. First step, we're going to talk about the different types of computers. Uh, again, I have a Lenovo 17-inch computer. I really like this computer. I had some other models before, but it's a really good value with the i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM. The only thing is that this hard drive right here, which came with it, was a terabyte at 5400 RPMs, it was really slowing the computer down. Now, I did update this computer to Windows 10, and uh, it's been a really, really great computer. So let me show you what I did. I actually cloned the hard drive inside of this, from this hard drive, over to a 256 gigabyte solid state drive. And then once I put it back in there, the computer didn't even know I changed the hard drive. That's how good cloning is. Okay, next, you want to have a computer that's up and running now with the software that you actually want to clone. So make sure everything's nice and clean, exactly how you want it. Now to clone a hard drive, you're going to need to be able to plug it into the computer. So there's a couple things I'm going to recommend. Okay, so you're going to need a hard drive that you want to move your files to. Again, if your hard drive is damaged in your computer, you want to try to do the best out of it, get a hard drive of any sort. Solid state is going to give you the best performance. You're going to need any little kind of screwdriver if you're using a laptop to unscrew the bottom of it to get to the hard drive of your model. And uh, you can also use this. This is an external uh, hard drive case. So you have your power source and USB, but on this particular one you can run USB 3 by itself. And the way it will work is you would plug that right into here. And then take this, slide it into there, and then put the screws in there. The way you can tell USB 3 is that they always have a blue color code right there. And the N looks like that right there. Another way to do it is get one of these adapters here. And basically it has a SATA end right there that plugs into your hard drive for data. The other end is a USB connector. And then you, it comes with a power supply. And then this end will plug into the other side of your hard drive like so. Okay, here's a terabyte Samsung hard drive that came in the computer. So let me show you the one I put in here. So this is the 256 gigabyte solid state drive. And uh, it's very, very fast in comparison. And uh, this drive right here gives you one of the best performance. Now when it comes to solid states, this is an older model, but again, coming from this particular model, it's just a huge improvement. So when you choose a solid state drive, you can read all the specs, but uh, if you're just switching out for performance and you're not gaming, I would go for the best value with a, a good brand. So you should be fine on that. This one is a Oz technology. I will put a link to the description below. All right, when you're ready to duplicate your hard drive, you need to get some software. In this case, we're gonna use a Cronius uh, True Image 2016. Let's go ahead and uh, install that.
All right, now that you have the software installed, you can go down here to Tools. You want to click on Clone Disk. You want it to do uh, automatic. You can manually do it, but I like automatic. Source Disk. That's the disk where your files are coming from. Hit Next. And then destination disk is the one that we plugged into the USB. Or if you have a desktop computer, it can also be installed internally. Just make sure you choose the right one. Now for testing, I'm not using my terabyte drive because I use that for something else that came with the computer. I have an old 500 gig that I don't use anymore, so I'm just using this to show you how it's done. Then hit next. And if you read here, uh, it's basically going to clear the partition and duplicate the hard drives in there so it's going to format it and get rid of all the stuff that's in there so if it's something like pictures just make sure that you don't have any files on there that you need because once you select that you can't recover it without problems go ahead okay and then this will kind of give you a layout and this is uh, before and after now we're going to go ahead and proceed. So there's my video, how to clone a hard drive. I hope it really helped you. If you actually do these steps, you're gonna actually get so much better performance out of your computer. Now it costs a little bit of money, but most people plan to keep their computer from three to five years. So think about it that when you think of terms of uh, how much you spend. Like all my videos, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. The computer didn't even know I changed the hard drive, that's how good cloning is.